Okay, so our last diagram is our diffraction through the narrow aperture. Now the narrow aperture, um, you can tell that because your gap size here is the same size as the wavelength. If it was smaller than the wavelength, the waves wouldn't go through, and if it's bigger, you would get the wide aperture diffraction. So here, same size, um, which means you get maximum diffraction. And that shape uh, will look a little bit, so that was the gap, a little bit like that. Okay, so that's the sort of shape we're looking for. Now we've got to make sure the wavelength is the same the whole way around. And the way we're going to do that is we carry on this direction line here. Now I'll help give us a marker for some markings. Now the spacing is still five millimeters, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mark one, two, three, four, five millimeters, five millimeters, one, two, three, five millimeters, and one more there. So I can fit four waves in. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky with the camera. So I'm just going to move this. So hopefully you'll be able to see what's going on. Sorry, get that in position. So I'm going to leave my compass at this point. I'm just going to set that up. Okay, where is it? Right, compass set up. Now, what I need to do is for the first one to line that up and I'm going to make a semicircle on that first marker. Real care with the compass it doesn't need to be super pressed onto the paper, just so we can see it. I think that'll do because I've nudged it a little bit. So I can just get rid of that little bit mark that I made and just go over it lightly, sorry, a bit harder by hand, and that is fine for our first semicircle. Okay, so there it is, narrow aperture. So that's what the first one should look like. Now the second one, a little bit wider. So what that's going to look like, again, put the compass point just in the middle there. And line that up with our second marker and create our second semicircle. Now the reason for using the compass is what it now creates is the wavelength here, so the gaps, the gap between, so the, the distance between here and here, which is one wavelength, is the same as the distance here, so it's consistent the whole way around. Do my third one. Oh, let's nudge that, so we we'll redo it. Okay, we'll just get rid of that extra bit in the middle. And the last one. Just clashing with the next diagram, but that's okay. That goes there. Last one. And there we go. I'm just going to be careful to rub out that little bit I went back because it doesn't go back. So that shows your diffraction through the narrow aperture, your maximum, where is it, maximum level of diffraction. Okay.